The translation to stay away from it is Yusuf Ali. As far away from it as you can stay. Why? Because of some of the words that he used that if you take them today, the person, the person who is attacking Islam can use what you gave out against you. Where in the Quran does it say to cut off people's heads? Really, where does it say it? Cut off their heads wherever you find them. And this is Jews and Christians. Ooh, there's nothing like that in the Quran, is there? But guess what? If you look at the translation of Yusuf Ali, verse 191 in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, here's what it says. It says it. Where it says, وَقْتُلُهُمْ He translated and slay them. S-L-A-Y Slay is from the word slaughter. Slaughter for us, if you go backward to Arabic, is the biha. This is not وَقْتُلُهُمْ anymore. It's do the biha to them, which is to cut the neck. And often you find this in the translations, cut their necks. This is an expression in Arabic, cut their necks, cut their necks. But in this ayah, it didn't say cut their necks anyway, but they say, oh, look, cut their necks, which means cut their heads off. And this is where they draw it from. Actually, the word in this case is combat, mortal combat. It's a killing in combat, but the word is combat. I've, and I'm not making this up from me. I asked many scholars before I offered it publicly because I knew that it couldn't be slay. I knew that. Because there's no time. Especially when the same word kital is used in the verse before it. It's both from the word kital. And before it, it said fight. Okay, now I'm over here fighting. Sound like I put on boxing gloves or I'm having an argument with somebody. Now all of a sudden, kill them. You know, you're having an argument with somebody. Okay, kill them. And it's not what it is. It says combat them. Go into, if they combat you, combat them. That's verse 190. But if they stop, you have to stop. Otherwise, you're the aggressor. Verily, Allah does not love the aggressors. Okay, fine and good. Next one, waktuluhum. And combat them in mortal combat, even to death. You have to do it as a phrase, because we don't have that in English. We don't have kill them in combat as a word, but that's what it's saying, because they're killing you in combat. Turn them out from where they turned you out. They're never going to read that because uh, immediately it goes, wait a minute, who turned who out? It was only talking about the Meccans because they're going for Hajj. And if they're fighting you in combat and won't let you go do Hajj, then you can fight them back. In combat, if they're killing you, you can kill them because in Ihram, they want to know, can we do that? Because I'm killing a human being, I'm wearing uh, Ihram, maybe I just canceled my Hajj. <laughs> That was what it was about. Read verse 189. You've got to keep going backward. And you see, yes, Alunica. And they're asking you about what? The moons. And it's talking about Hajj. Use the moons to gauge Hajj. We don't worship the moon. Enter your doors, the house by proper doors. Don't go through the back door thinking it's superstition or something. Righteousness is in here, not in your door. And then it goes to the next one. And when you're fighting these guys, you see, because it's connected back to superstitions that they had about not being able to fight in Ihram. That's what it is. You'll find it again in Surah Maida and Surah Tawbah and other places in the Quran. But each time you find this, you're going to see it's always related to Hajj. You see Hajj right there with it. So it's clear that Allah was telling them that you can engage in combat against anybody engaged in combat against you, even if you're in Hajj. And it is not self-defense, because that was always permitted in Islam. This is not self-defense. This also includes preemptive strikes. That was the Battle of Badr, because the Muslims did attack them. They didn't attack the Muslims, although they had planned on it, but this is called a preemptive strike. So. 
it, it's very much in keeping with the exact kind, kind of military combat we see today. Islam didn't come up with some kind of barbaric uh, scriptures telling you to go out and chop off people's heads. Uh, got way off our topic, but I, I did that because when you're given dawah, these are the kind of things you should expect to incur. This type of thing is going to come up and you can't avoid it. So be ready for it. 